appear outside United Nations headquarters in New York to speak at an informal meeting of the Security Council. Member states will be discussing the ongoing protests in Iran and the Iranian authorities' unlawful use of force, including live ammunition and metal pellets against protesters and bystanders. This has resulted in over 200 killed by security forces, including at least 30 children and thousands more injured. The true toll is even higher. People around the world are showing their solidarity with the movement in Iran. So what can you do to help this massive effort to hold the Iranian authorities to account for their deadly resolve to crush the nationwide protests and their crimes under international law? How do we prevent further deaths? Firstly, you can sign on to Amnesty's petition calling for the UN Human Rights Council to meet as soon as possible to take decisive action. The petition already has over 750,000 signatories. You can do this by going to amnesty.org or via Amnesty's global Twitter and Instagram accounts. You can also contact your own government's Ministry of Foreign Affairs and urge them to support the immediate holding of a special session on Iran at the Human Rights Council and the establishment of accountability mechanisms. People in Iran are continuing to take to the streets, courageously calling for Iran's transition to a system respecting equality and human rights. For our part, we need to make it clear to the Iranian authorities that their crimes under international law will not go unseen or unpunished.